All right, guys. Hey, this is Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw. And we've been selling auto mowers in Northwest Washington since 2016. Well, last year, a major advancement came. All of a sudden, we went from wired robotic lawnmowers to the wireless Husqvarna 550 EPOS, which requires no wires in the ground. If you've got the right lawn, consider using wires yet. I will tell you that, that the new technology, uh, it's getting better every day, but we are dealing with communicating with satellites. We're dealing with weather. We're dealing with tall trees and tall buildings and, and all kinds of stuff. And the wired ones just work. So just pay attention to that. But if you do have an EPOS mower, awesome. Good for you. How cool is it that you can make straight lines in your lawn? How cool is it? All the things that you can do to adjust the control of the pattern. And how about where and how your mower mows? Today, Husqvarna EPOS Auto Mower 101. We're going to go over kind of here the home screen and we're going to look at the mapping section and some stuff that you can do with your mower to avoid a callback and in order to maximize the coverage of your lawn. So uh, here's the home screen. We got to look. Here's my mower 550 EPOS. Right now it's paused. I'm cutting at 20 millimeters. I have 51% battery. Got a little picture of the mower. Shows I'm Bluetooth connected. And on this, I can hit home and it's going to go dock and it'll ask how long. And I can hit play and it'll ask which, what section, okay? I'm, I'm paused right now, so it stays within my Bluetooth range. Here's the critical stuff. We want to look at the bottom and we're going to look at the map today. So if we go to map, we're going to zoom in. This is my place right now that I'm mowing with the auto mower. And I have the back lawn being mowed. I have the front lawn being mowed. I have the neighbor's lawn being mowed. I really haven't started including this although I will soon, uh, I just haven't, haven't done it. I've been messing around with it a little bit. I've had one at my house for two years and am, am very impressed with how it functions most of the time, but also have gone through the pain of pulling my hair out and going, how do I fix this? And that is why we're here. So Carl's Mower and Saw, we came out and we installed your auto mower and it's been working great. Well, hopefully great. Or maybe it hasn't. Maybe it keeps getting stuck in one section, falling off the flower bed here. And we're going to teach you today how to back it off of that spot. But really, our goal when we install is that we're doing 95% of your lawn. And then from there, through this video, you will learn how you can manipulate your mower, manipulate your virtual boundaries to expand your mowing area and maybe potentially reduce, minimize time spent on a weed eater where you have that long fringe of grass. So um let's go back here a minute just to give you a little visual the mower right now is parked right here here's the reference station and here is the docking station i'm going to move to the front lawn and what we're going to do here is is on the bottom if we scroll up on this map objects here is everything that we have put into our map and we can hit plus and we have an option of adding a work area a stay out zone, a transport path, or a maintenance point through that plus. But back to this, here are our map objects. We have the front lawn, the back lawn, my neighbor's lawn, the pathway that it takes to the front lawn, charging station. Let's go ahead and do some manipulation on the front lawn. So we click on front lawn and it's gonna tell us some stuff. It says that this is an active mow area, that I have it set that it can mow it. I can adjust the schedule. I can adjust my cutting height. I can rename it. I don't know why I'd want to rename it, but let's just say I changed the way my lawn is set up. So I want to name this, or maybe, you know, you can get creative. You could actually map your front lawn twice and I could have front lawn morning, front lawn afternoon. And so every day it would go out and more in the morning, say North and South and in the afternoon, East and West. So I'd get this tight checkerboard. That's a pretty cool thing. I can adjust my pattern from here and I can go to a checkerboard, I can change my angles, right? I can go to a parallel, again, changing my angles. I can go irregular, that's not a bad idea once in a while just to let your lawn get a rest from that constant, you know, same path mowing. Or I can go to triangular and really get some crazy design. So lots of stuff that we can do uh, in the patterns. Here's what we wanna talk about today is this edit button. If I am Bluetooth, key, I need to be Bluetooth connected to my mower, I can now change where my pins or my virtual boundary is set. 
So here's a real life example. I come home the other day and the mower, the butt of the mower is hanging in the flower bed. What the heck? Well, we had dug out the flower bed a little bit, so we got a little close. So I know right where there's a problem pin, and let's just say that problem pin was right here. So I click on that problem pin, and I now have a scroll wheel, and you'll see I can turn that. The black is, is outside of the motor. So this is my flower bed, the green is the lawn. So I wanna move that boundary point further into the lawn so the back of the mower doesn't fall off again. And then across the bottom, you see this CM, the centimeters. I can move that pin in one centimeter at a time. Up to, I mean, I don't know how far it goes. A long ways. If I really screwed it up, whoa, 500 centimeters. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's bring this back because obviously I don't want to do that. But let's just say it's a couple pins that I want to move. I want to move that one. I'm going to move up to this guy right here. So let's just touch that one. I can do the same thing, rotate it, move it a couple centimeters, and I can work my way around the boundary and, and help you know kind of protect it. Here's what I really want to talk about though. So our goal is that it's not ever falling off the edge, but if you do some landscaping or whatever happens, this is how you fix it. Here's what I really want to talk about. When Carl's mower and saw, when we came out and did that installation for you, our goal was to get your lawn mower functioning as seamlessly as possible with minimal customer interaction, right? So it may be mowing 95% of your grass because there's some fringe areas that are just gonna challenge it. And since you live on site and you see the problem areas, this is a great time for you to start pushing its limits. So let's just say that I have set all these pins uh, in and I now have a grass that's a foot wide that's not being mowed. And I wanna try to get rid of that, I wanna reduce that. So I can simply come, click on that dot. Let's say I wanted to move that one in four centimeters and I wanted to move that one in four centimeters and I wanted to move that one in four centimeters. I don't recommend going massive all at once. Let's just think about two to three centimeters at a time, pushing it in. And as you, as you widen out that mow area, as you mow more of your lawn and you start uh, seeing it function and better and less weeding, less weeding, three or four weeks down the road when all of a sudden it falls off the edge, you know what you gotta do. You gotta go to those pins and back them off a little bit. So really cool that I have the ability to manipulate that. I can also, if you look at the top, um, delete a pin. So if there's a pin in a place I don't want it, or I can add a pin. So if I find that, let's just say uh, right here, let's say I wanna put a pin in here because um, it keeps the, the, the lawn swerves there. I can hit this plus button. Oh, bam. Tap the line. Put a plus button. And I have a pin right here that I'm now able to manipulate, bringing it in or bringing it out of the mow area. Pretty cool how we can do that. So there you go. That is, you know, a really basic overview of what the mapping section can do in your Husqvarna Automower app right here, Carl's Mower and Saw. We helped you get this going. We love that you have it. We can't wait to help you learn more tips and tricks to keep your lawn looking its best, to make you proud of the lawnmower you have so that you tell your friends because it's a pretty cool mower and it's changed your life. You can take Saturdays off and you don't have to mow the lawn, right? Thanks for checking in. Thanks for trusting Carl's Mower and Saw for all of your wireless, robotic mower needs. We'll see you soon in store.